great deal of the response to the performance imperative, uh, particularly um, at smaller sized organizations has been, this is great. I need to, I need to know how I'm doing. What next? How can, how can I understand what the first things to work on are? And so by turning the performance imperative into a tool, um, something that will allow the organization to self-assess where they are, um, to mark their progress, to mark that incremental progress was very important in a journey on high, to high performance is marking the, the smaller things that you're putting into place that add up to a high performing organization. By taking the, the performance imperative and breaking down the principles and the pillars, breaking them down into proof points, you're going one step further in illuminating the, the content that was provided in the PI. For instance, under the pillar of well-designed and well-implemented programs and strategies, um, there is a bullet point that calls out um, attention to uh, fidelity um, and implementation to the model. Um, that programs and man pro leaders and managers pay attention um, to implementation and that they pay attention to the models that they're um, putting into place. In terms of developing that into a proof point, then you say, well, who's responsible for that in the organization? Has someone been appointed? Is someone accountable to making this happen inside an organization? That's what we're trying to do. We're saying it's one thing to say you do it and check the box. It's quite another thing to say it's this person or this group's job, and here's how frequently they're circling back to make sure it's being done. So because we are the, because the performance imperative organizational self-assessment will ultimately be a community product, it's very important that there's a, a, a engagement uh, by a number of ambassadors um, to, as part of the vetting process for building this tool. We're starting uh, with each pillar um, by gathering a, a set of content area experts. These are folks that are experts in the, in the field of leadership, for instance, for Pillar 1, or financial management in the, in the not-for-profit sector in Pillar 4. Uh, we're looking to gather these content area experts, have them develop a set of proof points. Um, if an organization is high-performing on this particular pillar and these principles, um, what are the things that are in place in that organization? and to what extent are they developed. So our content area experts will kick off the, the, um, the actual building out of the, of the proof points, and then we have a robust vetting process, um, sending the proof points over to an editorial team, making sure that the content of the proof points matches the tone of the performance imperative, um, and frankly, many back and forth, many iterations back and forth with the uh, working group um, designed to help this process, a working group of ambassadors. Right now, it's about 20 ambassadors who have said, this is something I'm interested in. I want to help contribute to the building of this tool. I would expect at the end of a organization taking a look and assessing itself um, with this tool, that they would have a very clear sense of where they are strong, where there are areas that they're, they're actually well on the path to high performance, and where there are weaknesses or gaps. And I, and I believe that the way in which the tool is being built and envisioned, um, they're going to have a very clear set of, of things to go after to figure out how to get to that next step.